Hey y'all, today it's gonna be a what's all video and it starts right now. All right guys, welcome. If you're new to the channel, my name is Julian, also as the Beer Thrift Machine here on YouTube and I buy stuff and flip it online and make YouTube videos about it. I do this for a full-time income. I buy stuff cheap and then I sell for market value on places like eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Facebook Marketplace, and also like local sales. Today's gonna be 20 what's all for me on eBay over the weekend. It's been a pretty good weekend, so I have a lot to go over, but I also try to tell you exactly how much I paid for the item when I picked it up, where I picked it up, and how long it took for it to sell online. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you want to go back and watch some of my other videos about reselling, and if you like the content, always remember to subscribe, comment down below, and like the video because it does help the channel out, and I much appreciate it. So, without further ado, we got the blue lights on, we got the blue shirt on with the blue dinosaur. Let's go ahead and get going. The first item right here is going to be a Harley Davidson Genuine Embroidered Women's 2XL Cotton Spandex Zip-Up Shirt. I picked this up for $6 or $5 at a Salvation Army only about two weeks ago, and it sold for $20, and the buyer did pay shipping, so not a bad sale there. The next one is going to be a pair of Nike Air Max running shoes. These were size women's 11. They went for $35, and the buyer did pay shipping. I picked these up for $6 at a Goodwill. Now, the funny thing here is, is that these didn't actually have any sold comps. They were like some that were you know for sale and some new ones sold and no you used ones sold but they were like super high people had them listed for like 65 75 bucks and i only paid six bucks for them so i was pretty happy to get 35 dollars and it only took like three days to sell the us kids i always sell these i always tell people to pick these up because they do sell and this is usually for the going right this is a us kids power ul18 six iron and it went for 15 dollars, and the buyer did pay ship and i have three dollars in that at a goodwill these right here are going to be some True Religions World Tour Billy Big T jeans. Men's 36, white, gray. It says read because the inseam was like different than the seat or something. I don't know. I just made sure that they knew what measurements were going on with these jeans because I get, if I get a uh, return, it's usually jeans and it's usually for fitment. So I had made sure that they did read the actual measurements there. I picked this up for $5 at the yard sale last weekend, and it went for $49 and the buyer did pay shipping, and that went in a padded flat rate. These Ben Hogan Forged Edge 10-piece. This is a pretty good one. I mean, this was a two-through sand wedge, so it had all the wedges there and almost the incomplete set, but it was just missing the one iron. And this went for $145 and the buyer did pay shipping here. I picked this up. I usually pick them up for like $3 a piece, so that would have been for $30. And they sold for $145 plus shipping, so not bad there. And I've noticed with the Ben Hogan's, the Apex 4s, which is usually written on the shaft, uh, it sells a little bit better than the Apex 3 shafts. This is a Dunlop. Again, I always talk about how I don't usually pick up Dunlop stuff, but other than their specialty items. And this one right here is going to be like a little specialty wedge. Anything over 60 degrees seems to be a little specialty wedge. And I actually learned that from the Carolina Thrifter. If you don't follow him, he's really close to 1,000 followers or subscribers on youtube so uh he knows a lot about golf stuff so go over there and check him out and uh he actually told me about that so i did pick this one up and it only went for 13 dollars and the buyer to pay shipping but that's really not too bad because i usually pick these up in big bulk buys it does take a while to sell that's i probably had that now for about five to six months this right here is a homer alaska flounder embroidered it really would be a halibut because um i should have put that because I've never seen a flounder that's 150 pounds. This one went for $8 and the buyer did not pay shipping. That is free shipping on that pin. That is totally uh, in the profit because I bought a hat with a whole bunch of like pins on it. And then I sold the hat differently from all the pins. So definitely not bad there. This tailor-made burner oversized single four iron, the S90. I always talk about the S90 shaft for these bubble shafts. They sell the fastest for me. And then that is a stiff shaft, and that's why this went for $20, and the buyer did pay shipping. Again, this is a single four iron from TaylorMade. Picked it up for $3 at the Goodwill, so for $20 in probably about four months. This is a Fireman Nutcracker with ladder and dog. 16-inch, uh, this is a Christmas item. Had it for a while. I think I actually picked this up in an um, auction lot, probably for about a couple bucks, and did go for only $15, and the buyer did pay shipping. So not bad, but Christmas sells year round. So if you're out there and you see cheap Christmas stuff, I'd rather pick up cheap Christmas stuff in summer and sell it for market value online than uh, wait till beginning of Christmas trying to get all my Christmas stuff ready to sell online. This is a 35-piece 
quarter inch shank router bits. I just picked up a huge lot of tools. Uh, to be honest with you, half of them weren't really worth anything and the other half were worth way more than I thought. So I picked everything up for like 400 bucks then picked some golf clubs up for 100 and uh, I've actually, I've already listed well over a thousand dollars just in tools. And then this was part of it. This is not a name brand. If this was like Craftsman or Bosch or some other really high end like brands, this would have went for a lot more money, but this was actually like the Harbor Freight brand. And it still went for $25 plus shipping and that went to Puerto Rico. These were actually in the tool lot and uh, they were Philips Norinco Quadra 7 Action Replacement Heads. And they were brand new, never used, went for $40 and the buyer did pay shipping and they took about three hours to sell. Same with the uh, router bits, they only took a couple hours to sell. This tested Bearcat. This was a 16 channel, 10 band police fire weather radio scanner. Went for $39.99. The buyer did pay shipping on this. This was also in the tool lot. So it took about only about a day to sell. Another end scale. Now I'm actually running out of trains and it's very sad that I'm running out of them. This one went overseas. Now I have to say probably about 50% of these trains now have gone through the global shipping network. I have nothing into these and this one for $19.99. The buyer did pay shipping, but I'm telling you right now, I will be on the lookout. I don't know if I'll ever get that good deal. If you haven't seen that yard sale video, I'll actually link it down in the description because I didn't know really what I was buying and it was just an insane deal. So end scale trains definitely sell really well. This one, 19 bucks and uh, the buyer did pay shipping. This one right here is going to be a Cleveland Launcher 8 iron. This had a Senior Flex, and Senior Flex is always so like really fast and really good. This one went for $26, and the buyer did pay shipping. I have $3 in that at a big bulk buy. These vintage wrenches I've had forever, probably more than a year. And this stuff usually does sell. Like old wrenches and stuff will eventually sell. They just don't sell for a lot of money. These all went for $10. I probably have pennies into all of them uh at the time of the sale and so that's really not that bad and i like shipping wrenches because you can't break them this one right here is a more than magic girls zip up jacket size large planet stars moon black i did a whole bunch of nice uh keywords there because i didn't know else how to describe that this one for 11 dollars. the buyer did pay shipping it took about six months to sell and i got it for free these right here are some asics gel nimbus 15s Woman's running shoes, size 9, in super good condition. They were purple and neon. They did go for $29.99 plus shipping. And I got them for $6 at a Goodwill only a week ago. This one right here I picked up for $2 at a Goodwill. Brand new hat. Had a nice patch of the American flag on there. And it did go for $25 and the buyer did pay shipping. That also went through the Global Shipping Network. I don't know if anybody has noticed that, but the GSP that's through eBay, the Global Shipping Program, has really been on fire for me. I would have to say like the other day, I probably had four or five sales in one day just from overseas buyers. So that has really ramped up. So if it's ramped up for you, go ahead and uh, tell me down in the description how GSP is working out for you because I'm telling you right now, I am making a ton of sales using it and it usually works out pretty good. This one right here is going to be a vintage Stanley adjustable framing quick speed uh, square made in the United States. This was also in the uh, tool lot. Now these right here, like to look at this, this is one of those things that uh, you might hear me say and then you go find one in the yard sale for a dollar and it never sells because... It has to be made in the United States. You know, Stanley's a good brand. It has like the quick speed adjustable framing on this one. So there's a whole bunch going for this to spend, to actually go for 20 bucks. So I thought that was actually a really good price. And uh, this one for $20 plus shipping. That was in the big uh, tool lot that I just picked up. So only a couple days to sell. This one right here is going to be a Pen 4400 SS spinning reel parts only. I'm always harping on these old made in the United States pen reels that are gold. Uh, this one literally did not reel, and that was told in the description. The gears on the inside were completely stripped out, but the body, the bail, the spool, the handle, all that stuff was good. So most likely somebody has the gears, and they're going to get themselves about a $150 reel, you know, for about 50 bucks after everything's said and done. But this stuff still goes for a lot of money. So when you're at the yard sales and you see a made in the United States pen reel that has that gold on it, comp it out because I'm telling you they're still worth a ton of money 43 bucks and it only took about two weeks to sell and I picked that up actually in an auction the other day so right there that is 20 what sold for me in the last couple of days I do these videos so you can go out there and find some of these items flip them for yourself and make some money I do really appreciate everybody that watches and you know I will always catch you on the next one